It is Friday, it is. May 25th, 2018. Bright and sunny, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I look really pale in the video, but that's okay. <laughs> I look great. Hey, uh, on our way to Hartville Flea Market in uh, Hartville, Ohio. That's why they call it Hartville Flea Market. The fabulous Hartville Flea Market. And the last time we went was uh, last year's Memorial Day sale. Yeah, I know, why did we wait so long to come back? I don't know. I know, I've been wanting to come back and we found a lot of good things here last year mm -hmm. um like mid-century knickknacks we started trying to stabilize this phone uh, mid-century knickknacks uh -oh. um the cooter behind me wants me to go a little faster oh cletus cooter yeah i'm not in a general release so all right <laughs> Enough of cooter. oh my gosh he's late that's cooter from the dukes of hazard there was cooter and then there was uh who had, who had it before him well cletus was one cletus cooter this was one of the deputies. Go ahead. <laughs> this part of Ohio is strange. We go from, you know, city Akron to very rural, you know, Farmerville, Ohio. It's very strange. It is strange. Uh, right. See, we're excited about this. We have backpacks. We didn't bring the wagon this time. Oh, I forgot about that. Rats. Are... But I, that wagon is really loud and, and clunky. So maybe we'll keep an eye out for something that's more smooth. Yeah, with better wheels. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, make a lot of trips in the car, I guess. Mm -hmm. I did bring a tote bag too. All right, I gotta make a right here. Where this here? Oh, Michler Road. Right here, right here. Yeah, turn right. Oh boy! Woo. Oh boy! Woohoo! Woo here we go. So yeah, yeah, we're excited about this, and we might run into some people we know. Um, Literally, like bump right into them. Boom. We we might. You never it's know. It's so crowded. It's gonna be packed, baby. Yeah, and we were up Both late. Fingers. Sorry, ah, we were oh up boy. late last night. Um, you were putting sound effects together for our Mummy and the Monkey live show. Yes. Turn left to stay on Michler Road. Turn left to stay on Michler. One quarter mile. And then I was putting our studio together, getting the lighting set up, and um, uh -huh. looking for some video for you. So we're hoping to have everything put together for our Facebook Live Friday night well, show. Well, this won't be out before then. It, it will not, but. but Anyway. You know, for people that haven't seen our movie hosted like, show. It just means it's kind of stay beer to the left. Check us out Ooh, on um, for three miles. the Mummy and the Monkey Facebook fan page. Let's right, talk about something interesting. Okay, like what? What do you want to talk I about? I don't know. Nothing. Let's just get to the uh, food market. So okay. We'll see there. So we'll let you guys go for now and we'll have more video a little bit later. Flea market parking. <laughs> I mean, anywhere down here, I guess. I guess. Ugh. What'd you get? A couple of purses. Mm hmm Some vintagey cute things and then a camera. Oh, you're getting video? Yeah, why not? Yeah, this is what the flea market uh, looks like right now here in Hartville. Um, we didn't come here on the busy day which is going to be tomorrow Saturday and Monday on Memorial Day and Sunday maybe but um, a little early there's some geese flying around and, but yeah all kinds of cool stuff very very cool I like it thanks on the ground there's some stuff and my shadows in the way Do you want to go back that way? Yeah, yeah, but it's like decent size. I think more vendors are here now, too. I see more stuff here. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Very cool, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. A lot of old stuff. Boo.
family affair. They got big foot and little feet. Those are really cool. They are neat. Guy wanted thirty five for that camera. Uh -huh. Online they sell for nineteen dollars. So. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Yeah, not interested. Like rent little rent the space that? for parties. Cave dwellers, what? This is nice. It's like it's just like a mini mall. Yeah, they got like all kind of. Can I want me to do video? You could tell, talk about what you found, or is that later? I don't later? even know if I got that. Let's see if I even got it. And we devoured. I said, what do we do here? We got food at the Market Fresh Grill. Yes, yeah, so they have an indoor part of the flea market with a food court, and those cheeseburgers did not stand a chance. They were delicious. As you can see, <laughs> a bit of a massacre here on the food train. But... Yes, we killed it. Thanks for lunch, baby. You're welcome. Okay, let's go. Go out there and see what we can find. All right. Round two. All right, let's go. Okay, we're recording. Are you sure? Are yes, we're recording. Now hang a right and be careful driving. Yes, ma'am. So, what is going on? Woo, okay. So, we uh, went through the Hartville Flea Market, and it must be like coach... Continue on Ohio 619 Oops. West for six miles. It must be coach day because I found a lot of coach stuff for really cheap. Coach purses! Coach Woo. purses and bags, and... Uh, we also hit up a yard sale that was nearby. And you found more coach shoes. And I found shoes. coach shoes and a coach tote bag. Oh um, it looks like it was also, it could be used as like a coach diaper bag. Yes. It's like insulated and it has for, like a little changing for, pad. Because they make uh, coach diapers for babies too. Oh jeez. That's what I call some fancy shit. <laughs> that is. Wow. Anyway. Um, oh, there's so Hartville. You, there's Hartville. Flipping so, around so people can see the Hartville logo. Now that's not the, that is the flea market back there. You can see it. Yeah. <laughs> Back there. There it is, back there. Back there with a G. Back there. What boat? It's back there. <laughs> back there. So yeah, we are. Whew. We are. We are sweaty and 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 moist and steamy and and heading back uh, to the homestead um, to go through our booty. To go were. through our booty. Yes, oh and my goodness. Perhaps we'll show you our a haul later, and the A stands for awesome. awesome. That's right. We'll show you our awesome haul. Once we go, uh, we get home and settle in. And I could get rid of my hat hair. Ah! All right, it's not recording. It is. Do it now. It is. Ooh, Steve Motel. Nothing going on there. Creeper Motel. Oh, that's a Tarantino movie waiting to happen back there. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so I just got done listing these books here, and these are vintage, uh, you know, religious books. At a local thrift store, I did pick these up. Um, some thrift shops have books really cheap for like four for a dollar, five for a dollar. Um, sometimes you can pick these up at yard sales, and I got, um, you know, into the religious books thanks to Lonnie from Garage Flips on uh, YouTube. So thank you, Alani. He had some information about reselling Bibles and other religious books. Um, these look like they're all Catholic books. And this one is from the 1950s. It is uh, St. John's Sunday Missal. And I think I paid like 20 cents for this. And it has beautiful illustrations, a little bit of writing on the front, some bent pages, but I'm hoping like $20, $25. Because some of these books are harder to find, and um, the lettering is beautiful. They are really nice, you know, vintage books. And then this one here is another Sunday Missal. And it has, I think this is the one, well, many of them have like Latin and English. So this one may be $10 or $15. And then this one here is... Um, Oh, what is it? It has to do with, with Mary. And I'm not, I, I was brought up Christian, but not Catholic. So I don't really know all the little details. So I do apologize. Um, but it's the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And this book is from 1953. Uh, little prayers and different things. And um, these these old books just have beautiful lettering. Very nice. I can see why people really love, love them. And uh you know, it's, it's, it's great. 
So yeah, I mean, I got these cheap and it could be a good flip and they're easy to ship. And then this one, I'm still doing research on the communion prayer book for someone's communion. I'm thinking this might be 1940s. I don't know on the exact year. It didn't say it in here, but look how pretty that is. With the gold, it has the crucifix, and it has that beautiful lettering. The pages have gold on the sides. Even though it's worn on the cover, it's still a really neat little book. Just beautiful. A little piece of history. So there's that. And um, this one I still need to research. This is um, a 1950s Holy Bible. And there's so many different versions of these religious books. So you have to check by the author. This, this says Leslie B. Reynolds, or the, or the pastor, or the, the priest, or whoever you know helped put the book together, what, what church organization. So then I'm not sure yet. Same with the communion book. I'm not quite sure. And then this is a Christmas vintage tray we picked up at the Archwood Street Sale in Cleveland. I think I paid like a buck for it. But it's it's really cool. It's just a little tray. I think it's like a a particle board or like a wood plasticky. I have no idea. So then I'll need some research too. This was two dollars. Miniature mixer, salt and pepper set. Look how freaking cute that is. It's in the box. Ah, come on, open. There we go. So, there's that, and the salt and pepper shaker are actually the little, um, you know, sp the spinner thing, and then it's in this little bowl, but I thought that was adorable. Very, very kitschy for your kitschy kitchen. So, some smalls, and then I have, I, I showed some coach bags earlier, if I haven't, you will see them in a video. But these are two more coach bags that I'm in the process of trying to clean. Um, the leather is very worn. They're vintage, though, and the leather is soft and really heavy. It's just a nice, solid bag. So someone told me saddle soap to clean them up and make them real shiny. I'll see, you know, what I could find to clean them up without hurting the leather. This one's really soft. Coach bags, these vintage coach bags are just made really nice. New coach is not made this nice. Most of the time, it just feels like they're made cheap. But these are like made to last, good quality. You can you can use these for another 10, 20 years. That leather is just so cool. Even though it is distressed, I think they're really nice bags. So there is that, guys. Yep. Okay, so you saw the flea market video. Um, many of the items I already have listed, and I'm trying to go through and reorganize some bins to make room for more of these bags. It was coach day at the Hartville flea market. There were different vendors um, selling all kinds of different coach bags, designer stuff. Some of it was designer imposter. Um, that's something else. Let's see. So this I picked up for a buck. I have it online for 10 right now. Adrian Vitadini. And the cool thing is when you open it up, it has like a hookup where you could charge your phone. Cute little bag. And then actually a few days after the flea market. Oh, sorry for this terrible video. <laughs> I found these with a sign that said free on someone's tree lawn. And uh, there's some like Italian designer. They're size 13D. Really weird, funky-looking men's boots. So I put them on eBay for like 19 bucks. They were free. Might as well give it a try, you know? And then this here... I shouldn't have put everything in little bags, but I was trying to protect them. This is a Stylecraft Miami vintage ladies' handbag. Probably from the 40s or 50s. It has really cool, like, green stitching. I put that online. Most of these are eBay. There's a few things I did put on Poshmark. This was from a yard sale later that day after the flea market. Uh, Banana Republic, size 28. 
I put those on Poshmark for like 12 bucks. Give it a try. These are really cool. Um, a lot of people are into the 90s clothes now. These are Levi's Ladies 550. They're high-waisted. Almost like an acid wash jean. And they've got the tapered leg. But um, I've sold some before and, and they're just really popular right now. I guess uh, the youngsters think it's cool to dress like it's 1992. So there's that. Um, these are Adidas men's pants. Picked these up for a buck. And they're in really good shape. They're just like men's athletic pants. Now this is another coach bag. Got this for like three bucks. It's a little ivory, like a beige off-white little bag. I'm going to flip this other light on to try to get us more light. Whoa, there we go. So today is Friday, June 1st. Uh, James and I have been slow about getting video out because we've been focusing a lot of energy on our Friday night Facebook live show. And it's a horror-hosted show where we play an old cheesy movie, and it's called The Mummy and the Monkey. So if you guys like Elvira, if you're a fan of Sammy Terry or Mystery Science Theater, you might like it. This is another coach bag. I put this on eBay for 38 bucks. I think I paid 4 or $5 for it at the Hartville Flea Market. It is numbered and everything. I did look it up. It is legit. has some wear. You know, it definitely shows age and wear, but it's a nice bag where someone could still use it. You know, it's a nice, soft, real solid leather. Those leather bags seem to hold up. And they almost look, like, cooler with age. And the buckles look like they're brass. They're just, it, it's just a really nice piece. Right here is another coach bag. And I don't remember if I put this on eBay or Poshmark, but this is, they call it, um camel colored it's like a light tan a light brown and they are numbered inside and it has the um coach thing right there so there's that and this one i paid five dollars for this is a dooney and burke made in usa dooney and burke there's the um Numbered tag, will it focus? There it goes. But it's a nice leather, like backpack purse. Has a little bit of wear, but I did put it on eBay to give it a try as a buy it now. Most of my items are buy it now, but um, I was listening to some reselling podcasts where one guy puts up a lot of auctions. So I might try some auctions just to get rid of some things. Um, these I picked up for a buck at a Goodwill like uh, last Sunday. There are some Goodwills in our area where they'll have certain colored tags for only a dollar. Well, all the blue tags were only a dollar. So I picked these up for a buck, um, hoping they sell for 10 bucks. All that little stuff adds up. Here's a pair of Miss Me jeans. I paid $7.50 for these. Similar ones have sold for around $30 to $40. And um, they're size 31 waist, a little bit bigger. And the pockets are really cute. Really nice. There's like little rhinestones on here. Here's another pair of vintage jeans. I think I paid a buck for these as well. Lee regular fit. They're like a skinny man jean. But a lady could wear them too. Because it's like a very slim fit. I think this one was a 28 waist. So these are pretty cool. These are some other jeans I've had for a while. I have to make another bin of just jeans. So those two I've had listed for a while. Picked them up at a thrift shop. These were at that same Goodwill last Sunday. Hydraulic. I guess it's a Kohl's brand, but it's nicer. It, it, they kind of remind me of the Miss Me jeans. And these are new with tags. So we will see. Um, the, I noticed the boot cut. And the flare jeans don't sell as well, but some people still wear them. And the boot cut style might be coming back. I thought these were ladies jeans, but I found out they're boys, but they're really cool. They're like Levi's red skinnies. Paid a buck for them, so we'll see. Here's another Miss Me jean. These ones are um, skinnies. The other pair of Miss Me were boot cut. 
So these are like a skinny jean. And then the high-waisted, high-waisted skinny jeans are very popular right now. Or high-waisted acid wash with the tapered leg, you know, from back in the day. Um, these are some other things here from last week. Another coach bag! Sorry about the, the rustling here. It's another coach bag. So, this I have listed, I think, for 50 your best offer. It's a dark brown. And what's cool is it has a little handbag handle. But you can also wear it like a shoulder bag or crossbody bag. And these are all numbered. I've looked these numbers up. I've found ones that are similar or exactly the same. Like, these are legit. There's some that are fake where I can kind of tell. So you want to feel... You can usually tell if it's like a nice solid leather, if the leather's really soft. And inside the bag, they have an item number. They're all numbered. And it'll say coach blah 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 with some numbers in it. And if you look up those numbers, you should be able to tell that it's real. Um, and these were all between 4 and $5. I have never in my life, so far anyway, have seen this many coach bags for sale for really cheap. I don't know where these uh, flea market vendors were getting them from. Maybe they hit up the Goodwill bins and get them for a buck a piece, stockpile them, and then sell them for four and five. You know, or maybe they just had it in storage forever or they cleaned out a storage unit. I know some of the items did have Goodwill tags, so it makes me wonder. I should have just asked. Um, I know there are some people that do clean out so they get the storage units. This one I listed, and it won't sell for a while, but that's okay. It's a cable knit sweater, brand new with tags, and Taylor. Look, $84. I think I put it online for like 20 bucks. I think I paid 2 or $3 for it, so not bad. It's a really cute sweater. So once summer's over, people will want them, and, and there might be cold weather somewhere in the world. So I did put that on eBay. Okay, this I picked up whoa, at a, um, sorry about that guys, at a yard sale. It's a coach diaper bag, but it doesn't have to be a diaper bag. Someone could use it to put their tablet in it, their laptop, if they need like a little briefcase bag to hold their supplies. And it's patent leather. It does have a few spots. I did clean it up with a magic eraser, but some of these spots couldn't come out. Um... So I paid 10 for it. I think I paid too much on this one. I probably should have just paid 5 But I put it online for like $35. There's similar ones that look like they sold between $40 and $50. But because this one has a little bit of wear, I priced it lower. And I'll still make some money on it. And it does have like a diaper bag pad in there. But the inside is nice and clean. So I'm thinking someone will like it. I don't feel like unzipping it right now. Um, and then these I picked up at another thrift store. Can I get this open? Ah, sorry, guys. They're Doc Martens boots. Normally, Doc Martens, there's certain ones where if I pay 20 and 25 for them, I could get like 100. And I was hoping this would be one of those because it's such a rare looking and different looking kind of boot. But um, no, these only sell for like around 50 50 to 60 and I paid 25 so I did pay too much so I'm learning what to buy and what not to buy with the Doc Martens but I do have these online for $52 and it does have some watchers so if I can get my money back on them and make a little bit too that would be good and then I'll know to, to just be more careful with Docs they are a great boot they seem to last forever I have three pairs of Doc Martens at home and I love them um, this is a size 7 in men's, size 9 in ladies. Um, kind of like, most of their shoes are, are more unisex for anybody to wear them. And that's what I like about them. It doesn't have to be super girly or super manly. It's kind of in the middle there. And they're cool looking. So, that is some of the haul from last weekend. I have clothes here to list. I've got, there's a coach duster bag to list. Um, some old retro t-shirts. We'll see if that gives me anything. I gotta show you this thing too. I bought this from a scrapper last weekend too. 
a lot of a lot of crap I bought. But look at this, it's a Victor Radio Electrola phonograph. And I put a decorative record there just for display, but and it has a radio. I didn't plug this in and um, I saw a video of it partially working, so when I do put it online I'll have to put it for parts or repair. It needs cleaning up. And it's really, really heavy, so I'm going to have to do a local pickup only. But in the back, it's got like the tubes and stuff. It's pretty sweet. So, we'll see. I'm hoping maybe 150 to 300 Maybe put it up for 400 or best offer. Just because it's just one of those odd things that you don't see very often. And I, look, I know there are some collectors that look for that. I've sold some smaller phonographs that are more portable between... Anywhere from like 50 to $200, depending. And uh, here's more of my mess in the shop. We are open tomorrow on Saturday, so I'm also trying to get some stuff put together. I'm going to run a sale and uh, sell some stuff in here for a good deal. I have to get this organized. I've got uh, some of these molds listed. Thing Maker creep Creeple People. And the um, 1960s Mattel Fright Factory. Look at that cool old artwork. So in the past, like I sold this one where I had another one with all the pieces and it only sold for 30. But some of the molds will sell for like 15 a piece where you're better off piecing this one out. And not sure if I'm going to save this box to use for a cool art display or um, just sell the box for someone that's trying to com complete their collection. Uh, so we'll see. But it is pretty sweet. I just like the some of those retro toys. Another thing, I went to some yard sales this morning and picked this up for two bucks. And I love it. It's a sterling silver ring and it says 925 and it feels like silver. It was mixed in with costume jewelry. So I have to do some research on it. It is garnet. It looks like real garnet. And a CZ. Cheaper gemstones, but they're still really pretty. So I do find uh, some silver pieces every now and then. But um, thank you for watching, guys. I am going to get back to work here. I have a lot to organize. I have some things to pack up that sold. Hopefully you guys have a good day or night. And... Um, yeah, happy hunting.